my throat is feeling a lot better. I can now talk again. I'm re I'm re-energized, re I don't know why, but orange juice just is a really good thing to like get your throat back to working. Ugh. I think it might have to do with something with the pulp or the protein inside of it. But I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, we're back. That's all that really counts, is we're back and what are the wars going on simultaneously? Is anyone trying to steal any land? Oh, it seems like the Chinese are trying to restorize Gunzai. I'm not sure that's going to work. Oh, it's never mind. It is going to work. Mmm. The kind of stinks. Anyway, so we have this big, gigantic invasion happening still. We have basically cornered all of our main enemies, though, which is, you know, good. We have basically, like, like I, I would say we've basically won against the Soviet front. The Soviets are not coming back. There is no, I, I can almost see no way they could come back. I have most of my troops ready and willing to go in and go kill the Soviets if something were to happen. So, we're, I'm, I'm basically, guys, I'm basically considering the Soviets out of the race for winning. <laughs> I'm going to go send these guys to go in and go kill these guys. And I have most of my massive troop armies coming in. Yeah, they're still, they're still moving across the mountain. They're slow, slightly slow, and it's probably Soviet winter. The Soviet winter is something of legend, everyone. Something of legend. So, yeah, we're just gonna try to... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I closed up the gap that could have potentially moved from there. And, gosh, we're so close to St. Petersburg. Um, and not a moment too soon, because the Russians are about to collapse. I mean, they're basically at the point where they're about to collapse. That stinks. But luckily, I'm, I'm I'm hoping that... Let's see, how good of relations do you guys have with... Let's see, I need to know relationships between the Austrians and Turkish. Because if it's really good, that's going to be really bad for us, because that means... Yes! Oh, shoot, no, they like each other. That means they probably have military access, which means I'm probably going to have to defend my troops all the way back there. Which does sting a little bit. I was hoping to just go in and go conquer, but sadly, no, that does not happen. All right, so these guys are going to finish up the rest of this place. I'm going to go send some troops back over here to make sure we protect this area more. And then over here, these guys basically finished up with everything they need to do, so I'm going to go move them down to go help protect more land. Oh, dang, I don't think they'll be able to make it in time. Well, that kind of stinks, but these guys are going to have to just attack me if they want to get anywhere, because I'm not moving. Um... Yeah, and then these guys over here, finishing up their conquest of, of that invasion. I mean, our invasion of the Soviets have just gone superb. I mean, it there is not much I could really say that could have gone better. You know, maybe some nitpick things here and there, but all in all, this was a good invasion. All right. And then this is a gigantic force which we're going to have to divide. So let's see. Let's redivide, redistribute everyone. Don't know why there's like 49 troops that are all dead. Going to divide these guys up. You guys go right here. Okay. Yeah. Gonna give him like a second to like heal themselves. Okay. You guys are now just right here. Okay. You guys divide up. Divide up. Yeah, and these guys are hardcore vets. So let's see. How are we gonna do this invasion? So let's see. Where's the province with lots of little tiny things? So Moscow. Oh man, we made it to Moscow? Yes! Oh my goodness, that is a... Great achievement right there, guys. Great achievement. And we're just conquering this. Okay, and then you guys can, I guess, go right here. Alright, there we go. Break, everyone. Break. Lazy and you learn how to adapt. Oh, my goodness. And, yeah, we keep winning more and more battles. I mean, this is... If there's anything that can be said is that this has been the war of just us defeating and winning lots of battles. Actually, you guys can just... Uh... I'll use you guys over here, because I'll need more soldiers over here to go conquer more of these guys. You guys move in a little bit more over... I, might, I don't know how I'm going to divide these guys yet, but I think if I just cross out right here, I think we're basically going to be fine. So let's just move in right there. Alright. Do, 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 do. And you guys instantly... Wow, it's just like instant. Okay, we're going to have to wait a little bit though, because I'm conquering just slightly bit too quick. And you guys go right there. There we go. 
Oh my goodness, this is too much fun. And you guys go right there, you guys go right there. Some backhand wars going on, but not really of a concern to me. I have too many men over here already, so they're not going to be able to do much. <laughs> I mean, the Soviets have lost. They've lost the war. I am literally right outside of St. Petersburg, and if I was going to stop, I was should have stopped a while back. Now I just have troops over here ready and willing to go kill off the rest of these guys. Let's destroy some of these small armies that are annoying me, like these guys, and there's some Ugandan people. I have a big gigantic army over here. I'm going to go send them to go help destroy some of these little tiny armies. Um, over here, we have a big gigantic exchange between us and the British. The British are losing because you cannot attack. You cannot attack reserve troops. Reserve troops are like super duper strong. They are like the epitome of of soldiers because they can just for some reason they can hold their line for a massively amount of time, which is good. And then you guys go right there, and then that should link up that progress, which means we just took over that place. Over here, you are just finishing up your conquest over there. And we are almost there. We're almost there to go help Germany. Like, we are getting really close to coming to help Germany. Oh my goodness, yeah. I'm pretty sure once Austria and all of them fall, we're basically got it all done with. The Battle of Thai. Okay, we can move in. Okay, you guys move in. We're not going to move in. Yes? You know what? We have to move in. This has been a status quo for, like, years. We have to move in just a little bit. Okay? It's nine troops... That's going to be my favorite last words. It's 9 troops versus 61,000. How are we going to lose? Like, I'd love to see that happen. Like, famous last words. <laughs> that's the last, that's maybe the famous last words of that general. I just said that. Okay, and then you, we're going to finish up all this little tiny nitpicky things over here because otherwise they'll just use this as a base and I don't want to use this as a base. Seriously. Somehow the Russians again broke through my lines. Oh my that's like a long, gigantic, skinny line of just conquest. Over here, you guys are gonna move in right there. And now we are literally a province away from taking over Russia. I mean, now it's just like, seriously, get your game together, Russia. We're literally right outside your door. Okay. Um, I can't really move in with any good troops. I'm gonna go send these troops to go clean up some of these little tiny uh, makeshift soldiers. Toy soldiers, as I'll call them, because they aren't really useful in any respect. <laughs> okay. Over here, we have this big, gigantic army, which I'm just trying to chase down out of Vietnam so that we can start owning our vassal again, because we need them to pay taxes to us. And yeah, that's that. And it seems like Gunzai seems to be doing okay. They seem to be doing okay against the Chinese. Uh, power, but not the greatest. We, on the other hand, are doing fabulous. <laughs> just fabulous. I mean, we are seriously just... We have completely isolated um, this upper part, so I don't need to really worry about that too much. I can move this guy in wherever I want to, because he's not really doing anything. He's not really a part of a front. You guys, okay, you right here, go right there. Yeah, exactly what I want to happen. Okay, and you guys go right there. Actually, no, wait, you go right there. So I need you guys to finish off those guys right over there. With that little army right over there. Finish off this little... You guys stay right there. You guys move in right there. And yeah, this is basically... I basically can now go conquer Finland at my own risk. Ah, uh, dang it. Yeah, the Germans just got majorly boned. <laughs> but I've almost destroyed all of the... Uh, Soviets, so all I'm gonna have to deal with is a big gigantic um uh Austrian force. So let's see. There's a couple big armies, but I think I could probably deal with most of them and be able to fight them off pretty handily. I honestly believe that. And Britain's almost dead over here. Uh 35k have almost destroyed these guys. South Africans are almost all dead. Good. One time out. One few times I'll actually say that. But yes, I think. I think, I think it's a little bit pre, it's a little bit early, but I think we have basically driven off, we've done a major counter-offensive that has resulted in much victory, and 
I think we've basically taken over everything. Um, okay, and yeah, this, this is like the greatest feeling in the world, guys. The war, I kind of, I guess I kind of predicted the war would end in my favor. Even without me, yeah, before it even started, I guess I kind of predicted this, but this is still, this was still an epic conquest. This was still epic. I mean, at some points, I don't, I mean, it's still not over. I mean, I keep having, I keep having to s tell myself that it's still not over. They could still do something crazy and somehow catch up. I mean, many, many wars in history have done that, where something crazy happens and the person that should have won doesn't win. Um, one of the examples of the American Revolution, that we should not, Americans should not have won that war, but we did. <laughs> uh, so, another example is, is uh, Nether another good example is Netherlands versus Spain. That should not have been won. They should not have been independent, they should not have been freed, but somehow they did, and somehow we now know of Dutch as having good pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're almost there, though. We're cornering the last few Russians over here. Remain calm and take pride. Yeah. Okay. And these guys are rapidly destroying themselves. Okay. Over here. Over here, we're going to need to... Let's see. If I move these guys in the, in the lower part. And then you guys are also just taking back all this. Stivesen's pool. Okay, we have all this, we have all this. Okay, we can basically go send this army now to go help over here on this front, which is going to get pretty heavy once once all of these guys turn their attention over to me. This front is going to get crazily powerful. I mean, we are going to have a major 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 you know, turning out of just massive amounts of Russians. The Russians will just pour into my land, like, well, not Russians, the Austrians, and basically anyone else that's in this alliance still will pour into my land like crazy to try to stop us. Okay, let's see. I'm going to move in these guys. Hey, you see, they're already starting. They're starting to pour into my land because they realize that I'm winning this way too heavily. I've pushed, I've pushed the Russians back this far. I mean, literally, I pushed them all the way back from the reverse of my from reverse of where the Germans did. I mean, there, there's gotta take some pride into that. <laughs> and I'm not, there is no way am I, in heck, am I letting the, am I gonna let anyone take this away from me? You're going to have to rip this victory out of my cold dead fingers. I've been, I was denied World War II and had to pay war reparations for that war. Not this war, this war is ours. Mm-hmm. And let's see, you guys go right there, you guys go right there, finishing off this. Yeah, it's only one big gigantic province, good. Yeah, I'm not going to be paying twice for reparations. Let's see. I'm just rapidly reconquesting this. Oh my goodness, we did it, guys. We we did it. We, we so did it. <laughs> we so did it. Okay, we just have to get a little bit closer, though. These guys are not going to flake until I actually... Ooh, these guys are really putting pressure on them. I mean, they really want to push me back now. Now they're really concentrating on it. All right. Now that I got some of my men now organized, it's now starting some time to think. Let's see. Do we have any more men inside this place? Because I would love to just like keep just one soldier over here. Sometimes it doesn't usually happen. Okay, these smaller armies not really gonna deal with. They are just kind of fodder for annoyance. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see. I'm gonna keep these guys. I'm gonna keep these guys right here. I'm gonna keep these guys right there. Let's see. So if I'm gonna keep these guys right there, so let's see. Move in right there. Move in you guys right there. Okay. Alright. And then you guys are gonna be done. So let's see. Move in you guys right there. Move in you guys right there. Move in you guys right there. Um. Matsuki. Yeah, there we go. That should basically close up any gaps I have. And, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, and then my army's moving in right there. Army organization. Strong as ever. Okay. Come on. Come on, yes. Okay. Conquer the last bit of this little land. We need to finish this off. Seriously. We need to finish off this stupid little thing so we can start like producing more men over here. 
Okay, we're gonna need to send in these guys. It's gonna create a slight hole in my army, but we're gonna need to put it there so that we can start winning. Because right now we're the defenders, and we'll definitely win if we just stick where we are and just buck it down. Okay, and then you guys right there. Yeah, I just don't have to move my soldiers and they'll eventually attack me. Yep, like that. <laughs> Didn't expect them to do it like that though, but they attacked me in a pretty bad part. Okay, Jackson levels on the island that I don't really care about. Please spawn there, actually, because I don't really... That island is not underneath my control at this point, so the more you guys do, the more you guys damage the British and not me. So that is a very good thing. Okay, you guys are finally done. Okay, we finally got this all done with, and now we're just filling in all these little holes. Which is good. Won't be that much longer, and then I can just send my full force over here. And we do have a massive, I gotta imagine, there's still a massive army of, of people over here. But we've crushed a lot of it. Um, and we're almost done down here in lower in the lower parts. Okay, we got a big gigantic force right there. I have to remember that. Send these guys to go help these guys over here. Because that, I don't think they'll be able to hold without my help. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm just going to have to keep probably some forces on the, uh, on the, uh, Turkestan border for all eternity because I'm pretty sure these guys are allied with my enemies. So, I'm going to have to deal with that. Okay, but at least I can move my Persians. Oh shoot, what the heck? That was like a devastating defeat. Ow, I, 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 what? What the heck happened? Go in, man. Something's going wrong. What the heck? Why are they getting so much of an advantage over us? What the heck do they have? I know we have cannons, so that should not be the big issue here. Okay. Is any more forces? That's kind of worrying, guys. If they can, if they can destroy my army that easily, that's really worrying. Uh, I've come, but I've come this far. We're not giving up. If all, if all else fails, I have much more of them than they do have of me. So, okay, and I can't move anything up until that army's dead. Well, I'll just surround them so that they'll have to attack me. <laughs> okay, and then St. Petersburg is doing fine. We conquered it pretty much without much of a doubt. <laughs> yeah. It seems like I don't see many other big armies from the Austrians, though, so I'm assuming that this is a pretty much the, one of the last defenses. And they're sending in a lot of troops over there, so it must be one of their last. I'm gonna go send in my big gigantic artillery to go help out over here. Having some of my men over here should be good enough to keep to keep order over here. Um, Soviets, of course. Yeah, Soviets have land access over here, but I don't think the uh, Austrians do. So we should be fine in that respect. Okay, and we can start actually sending some of these guys over here because we actually don't need this many anymore to go over here to this front. Wow. Wow, yeah, everyone's everyone now that we're just basically almost done with conquering, we can basically start redirecting everyone. Wow, that's such an amazing thing. Okay, you, you can start going over to the front too. Alright, you right here, you go finish up your little conquest fee over here. Uh, you guys are actually good soldiers, so once you guys get in the fight, this will be a great battle. Okay, so you guys go right there. That should right there tie it. I have tanks in the division with tons and tons of firepower. Portugal just got into some kind of cool cult. It's good. Okay, I'm gonna have to divide up my men right here because they come, the Soviets are gonna try to like find loopholes. <laughs> okay. Okay, finish up these conquests over here. All right, you guys just stick right on the on the border to make sure that we do not have any more Soviet backline things happen. Yeah, that's the words for all those things. There we go. So let's see, get that good. Dang it, they still can do all these weird things with me because they have alliance with Persia. Why would you betray me, Persia? Why? Oh, there. 
No wonder why. They, they're basically the big daddy of these guys. Okay, so let's just... I'm going to send in a good amount of my forces to go try to see if we can go s kill these guys right here. Because these guys are annoying me. And that is not good when I'm annoyed. So we're basically having to halt all of our advances because of these soldiers. Divide up our men right here. 